Hi, I'm Paul McNiff with Canon USA, and I'm here to tell you about a suite of firmware updates for our award-winning line of PTZ cameras and controllers. These updates improve existing features and add new ones that make our cameras even better solutions for a wide variety of applications. Let's start with the updates to the auto tracking application and the new free auto tracking version we're adding to our indoor cameras. Since its introduction, the auto tracking add-on application has been a tremendous success in many environments that feature moving talent. We've made enhancements to the auto tracking application that provides smoother, more natural pan and tilt movement. Improvements to the algorithm help maintain tracking of the desired subject even when crossing paths with others. In these latest firmware versions, we are now pre-installing a free version for all four of our indoor PTZ cameras, the CRN100, N300, N500, and N700. Named Auto Tracking Lite, this free version provides the same smooth and precise auto tracking experience as the paid version, but without some of the advanced customizations that are available in the fully licensed version. We've also added more speed selection options for zoom and focus. We've adjusted the speed curve for preset movement on all four indoor models, as well as the CRX300 outdoor camera. This will make presets smoother and more precise. Sometimes there are parts of your shooting environment that you don't want making it into the image. This firmware allows the user to set limits on the pan and tilt range which will assist both experienced and novice users to avoid moving the camera beyond the intended shooting area. For our flagship CRN700 camera, we've tripled the number of clear scan frequencies you can select. This is especially important for eliminating flicker in spaces that integrate LED walls, such as houses of worship and performance venues. The firmware will further enhance the CRN700 in multi-camera environments by adding a Canon 709 and BT709 gamma and color space setting, green gain adjustment, and expanded RGB pedestal ranges. All of these controls will allow for easier color matching with other cameras. The CRN100 and CRN300 cameras will also see some significant improvements in their performance when in USB webcam mode. This update adds a YUV setting, allowing both cameras to be used in corporate and education markets. These cameras, along with the CRX300 outdoor camera, will also see a new image mode that will reduce noise in low light environments. Finally, on the RCIP1000 controller, we've made several improvements. It will now be able to display thumbnails for both presets and traces, making it easier for users to identify preset positions and trace routes. The RCIP1000 already had the ability to display multi-camera view on the controller's screen. This firmware adds the ability to display the multi-camera view on an external monitor via HDMI and SDI. This makes it easier to see all cameras on a single screen. Presets and trace thumbnails can also be displayed on the external monitor. This firmware also adds the ability to display the waveform, vector scope, marker display, and focus guide on the controller screen, giving the user more tools at their fingertips. To make multi-camera setups easier, you can now copy settings from one camera to another. We've also enhanced the RCIP1000's ability to control the camera's auto tracking application. Users with a full license version can now use the touchscreen to select tracking subjects and reposition the subject in the frame directly from the controller. These are just a few improvements included in these firmware releases that strengthen our already powerful PTZ lineup. We look forward to seeing what you will accomplish with these enhancements. To see the complete list of features added in this firmware, or to learn more about our acclaimed line of PTZ solutions, please visit our website or contact your local sales rep.